In my quest to find different materials for guitar building, I always search the TCP Global website looking for different things to use, see how it does. Now that I've got my CNC router going, I can do all these different inlays. And I saw this all metal repair. Essentially, it's a metal repair for aluminum, metal, whatever, sheet metal. And the instructions say take about a golf ball size, use about 12 to 15 drops of hardener, spread it in, sand it off, see what happens. So let's see how this works. That sort of looks like half a golf ball. So for a golf ball size, you should use 12 to 15 drops of hardener. Six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll use nine drops of hardener. I'll mix this together. This is definitely some plasticky smelling stuff. So I'll take this then, we'll rub it into my inlay. Use an old razor blade here. Make sure I'm scraping this stuff in. Making sure I got no bubbles here. Definitely see I got some forming. So you can see when you get bubbles in some of the stuff, if you just dip your blade in, you can see it sort of moving. So it looks like I got all the bubbles out. We'll run this across. See what happens here. This way I got less material to sand later. Looking pretty good. So we'll sort of leave this as it is. Come back, sand it off. 
obviously this stuff is a mess now. If you want to clean up the areas that didn't need it, you just go ahead and scrape this off. That's why I use the razor blade to keep the areas free that I don't want. So we'll let this sit, like the instructions say, 24 hours. We'll come back and see what this looks like. So here we are about a half hour later. And the stuff's already drying pretty hard. Some of the thicker pieces are still a little bit soft. But it filled in nicely. So I'll let this dry 24 hours. And I'll come back tomorrow and sand it and see what it looks like. Pretty happy with this result. I've used that inlaced material, which is also a plastic resin like this is. But this is a lot cheaper than the inlace. So we'll see what this looks like tomorrow. So here's the piece of inlaid wood with the metal resin. Nice and hard 24 hours later. Actually really hard, harder than I would have thought because getting this little chunk out it's hard to do. So let's go ahead and sand this down and see what it looks like. So that was 180 grit sandpaper and this looks really nice. You know, ideally what I'd be using this is on a piece of ebony and I've got that dark wood with then the inlay but nice and shiny if I put a seal coat over something like this it'd have some nice depth you can see definitely looks metallic it's fully dry after 24 hours stuff is really tough tougher than I would have thought but that's a really cool way to play around with some inlay Definitely be using more of this USC all metal. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next vid.